viewers and subscribers welcome back to my channel once again people much love and appreciation and thank you guys for tuning in so people by now you should have heard the good news that felissa prosia was found alive today the nine-year-old girl who was abducted in saint thomas was found alive but the abductor has yet to be found people so if most people are unaware of what was taking place um nine-year-old felisa prosia was abducted from her home in saint thomas on thursday people and from thursday night police residents everybody have been searching for this young girl and people we got the good news and thankfully she was found alive they rushed her to the hospital to be checked out and you know we just have pray and hope she's in good health and everything is okay with her is me people there's videos um of where the abductor had her um in some bushes people um, i'm just playing some video of all the events and all what was happening throughout the day while they was looking for this nine-year-old people all right check out the video then I will do it right. I'm really and truly whenever time a guy from your castle say in fine foot chair overcome so we turn back from the spot the location say where we go when you turn back I'm going to find the footstrap the sister him just passed it something him just passed it something so one of the man say I'm going to go up on the side and I'm going to go up on the side so we take the road now I said, I'm going to take the road to the side where the man is going to come up to the other side. So when you go up on top now, you hear the man is the next side running stuff and you can see him. You find him. So we'll make you square go up on the side. Me and Omar Shah and our next. I'm a policeman and our and Banner. Go up on the hilltop and capture. That's right how we start, right? Can I go in the hospital to the hospital because it's dramatized. Well, so I feel good right now. I can't explain so much. But I'm a friend thinking I couldn't the whole way down and reach us. Because I'm here to my wire. So I said, I'm going to push out hard here for this day and yesterday. And when I find him yesterday, I'll find him today. So I'll give thanks. What is happening now? No, I said, I'm going to find out something so I can eat. Then I'm going to eat two plums for a morning. So that's why I make sure I stop and I get it. But you don't know. The last news I'm here, it was bad, but it's only so bad because we now get nothing. So if we get three years, somebody's seen come out and shop. That's going to be the best thing. So. Because we don't get nothing from them. I would have forced to get a little something. So we're going to look what I'm going on. Then say, I'm going to come to you. So people are going to so. And people are going to so. But I'm going to follow the street track come still. But we still have to come. So that would have been enough. So you feel a little better today now that you've heard you know that? No, I'm here saying I'm going to shop. That means that we know in the ball. So if we get to it, we can't get to the picnic. We don't like it, yes, I know. But we can't get to the picnic. But to look for the picnic, we try it, but it never works. So, I just like that also far. Yeah, my mosquito, when I remember the mosquito, them, most of all, took all the mosquito, them, up and terrible. If he would be not now left in a bush, we feel like the mosquito, they would have killed him. You were mosquito, them, up and terrible. So, when I remember the mosquito, they would break down more than everything. And we like them, would have tell me, say, him left him somewhere and gone, that break me down more than everything. Because I don't feel better if I have him and I feed him or whatever, more I left him somewhere and gone. If he's not dead. Yeah. Signs are cooking. So, I need to cook. Yeah.
it's not just the constabulary and um, partner agencies, but community. Um, I think everybody w uh, was inspired to keep up the search on this. And certainly from the constabulary side, on the ground, we had um, DSP Thompson here, who was leading the search and actually um, was part of the group uh, that eventually uh, worked and, and, and found her. Uh, we had about, I think, 450 or so community members come out from all of the surrounding communities. We also had uh, JCF personnel from St. Thomas K9 unit, uh, persons from uh, Kingston who joined uh, specialized operations. We were bringing over students as well from the, the college. We also had uh, the JDF on board, uh, helicopter uh, in the space. Um, and people from uh, CPFSA were on the ground. And so it was really a collective effort and got the exact result we wanted from it. So Felissa is alive. Uh, she's being seen by medical persons at the moment. And so, you know, that's the best of outcomes that we could have hoped for from this activity. It makes it all worthwhile. Yeah, man, people. And I just want to say and give a big shout out to everyone involved in searching for this um, young girl, people, this nine-year-old. I just want to give a big shout out. Um, this is the energy that we need, people. This is the energy that we need when it comes to our kids, when it comes to anybody in general, you see me? We can form the biggest team ever, people. You see me? By doing this, everybody coming together, a lot of things can get done, can get solved. You see me, people? We just have to unite as one and make sure we get it done. But people, some sad news again to report out of St. Thomas. You see me, people? Another 13-year-old has gone missing. Yes, you heard that correctly. In the same district or the same parish that Felisa was abducted. Missing is Winche Barrett, age 13. She was last seen at home on Rhine Road in St. Thomas. Last seen wearing a blue jacket blue long skirt and black slippers people so there is a search for this 13 year old 13 year old as well i don't know what i go on at jamaica people but it's very very sad i don't know what is going on what is going on in jamaica it is very very sad growing up in jamaica me never did have to worry about getting kidnapped or you know, people doing things to me in my days growing up. But now it's like you have to be on your P's and Q's and high alert when it comes to your kids. It's a very, very sad situation going on in Jamaica. But police has launched a manhunt um, looking for this 13-year-old as well, people. This is still developing. So once I get more information, I will definitely pass it on to you guys I'm making a new wag one. All right, people. So thank you once again for tuning in to Yard and Abroad TV. Much love and appreciation as usual. Bless up in yourself, people. Love you know. Yeah, right now me they bought. Right now me they bought. Missing kiss one. In, in grab one one gun with me right now. Pay ball they bought again. Bought me there. I'm here sir. What me to know? Missing talk to me. Missing me they bought. I'm missing kiss one more. I'm picking and running up in the pools. Bought me there right now. Trust me. Yes guys, Jachusa Pressure here again. The same guy who took the girl that was found today has taken another one. I'm standing right here in front of the bad police station. Yes, it's very unfortunate. Soldiers and police officers are here in their numbers. And a lot of them are actually in the bushes searching for the girl. You know, but it's, it's very unfortunate. Guys, let's pray for these people to be successful in finding, you know, this culprit.
Yeah, man. Guys, trust me, it's very serious. We need to find, we need to find this man, and he needs to be put away, like, for good. Yeah, man, it's very unfortunate, guys. The same guy has taken another little girl from the community of Bath. He's actually from Portland. This is very, very unfortunate. Very, very unfortunate. Guys, we need to do something. We need to send up some prayers. This man needs to be put away for good. For good. Yes, guys, the police officers are here in their numbers and also soldiers. And a lot of them are actually in the bush searching for this little girl and hoping that she will be reunited with her family. It's very, very unfortunate. Very, very unfortunate development in Bath at the moment. Very, very unfortunate. 